Barber Chow in Hondo, Texas. Hi, ladies. Barber Chow in Hondo, Texas, Women of Word Ministry. And we have an addition to it now. It's Cowgirls Get Going for God, and I'm so excited about it. And we are going to be going to start a new chapter in our discipleship program. And i got to stay over here in the middle so you don't get off on the video. But this is video number two. This is video number two. And we're going to start with section two. And this is all on the website, www.wow-womenofword.com. There's a lot of wows and women's of word out there. So it's wwwwow hyphen womenofword.com. Check it out and you can follow along with this and I hope that eventually I try to do these in segments, put them on the website and the videos are about seven to ten minutes long because that's all you can put out there on the YouTube and it takes anywhere from three to probably ten hours to get one seven to ten minute video out there so I do this on the weekend because I have a full-time job but God has just graciously given me favor, favor, favor and he's got some other things that he's given me confirmation that this is God's will is to keep going and keep pressing on and sharing this with, with you women out there because God has a plan, He has a purpose and I'm walking in that and I'm just so excited today. So let me get started on, let me make sure my recorder's on. Okay, section two, chapter two, the characteristics of God. So if you go to the website, it's, it's the section two, the link's on the right hand side. Okay, so this is video number two. I'm writing this down so I can keep track of it. All right. And we're going to be sharing the doctrine of the scriptures. But let's pray first. Father, I just come to you in Jesus' name. I pray that you bless your word today. Bless the ears that are out there hearing today. And give them favor today. And if they don't know you as their Savior, that they would know you as their Savior. That you would speak to them. We thank you for your word. And speak to us. And bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, ladies. The doctrine of the scriptures. And there's ten of them. This is real simple. The doctrine of scriptures. Now, I'm not going to read all these scriptures because there's so This is all the word, the word. A lot of this, if you're really wanting to learn and be discipled and be a, a child of God, you'll have to make some effort on your part. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you the dinner, and then you'll eat it. For, you'll take and feed yourself from there. So a lot of scriptures we'll read, and some of them we won't. Okay? So these are the ten most significant events in the Old Testament. Well, not the most, but there are ten. So we're taking this study out. And with this portion of the study was finding out some significant events in the Old Testament. And here's ten of them, okay? One, God creates the world. If you've got a pen, write this down. God creates the world, Genesis 1, 1 through 3. And down further in the study, we are going to be studying Genesis 1 and 2. But that's going to be a little further down in 2010. Okay, number two, the flood destroys the world. That's Genesis 6, 9 and 9, 17. Then we have God calls Moses. That's Exodus 3, 1 through 15. Then we have the Israelites cross the sea. That's Exodus 13, 7 and 14, 31. And you know the neat thing about these videos and these segments on the website is if I'm going too fast and you don't get to write down, you just push that button and reverse it and you can get it. That is technology. It is so cool. So cool. Okay. God gives laws to Moses. That's Exodus 19, 1 through 21. And then Jericho's walls fall down. That's Joshua 5, 13 and 6, 27. And then we have David fights Goliath. That's 1 Samuel 17. That's a full chapter there. And then we have Esther and Mordecai saves the Jews. That's Esther 2, 5 and then 8, 17. That's a beautiful story. Beautiful story. And it's not a long one. So that would be a short um, chapter in the Old Testament to read in your quiet time if you're wanting some shorter chapters. And if you're new to God's Word, you can't go wrong with Proverbs, one for each day, Psalms, and the four Gospels. That's where to start if you're new, if you're a newbie. Okay? Then God protects three men in the fire. Most of us have heard that in Sunday school when we were little. That's Daniel 3. And then we have a fish swallows Jonah. Jonah 1 and 2. That'll speak to all of us. Okay? And then the next portion is real, real short. And one of the questions was, what does inspired mean? What does inspired mean? And this is what I wrote down. You can look this up in several dictionaries. And this is what I have. It says it's, it's the Word of God. It's written by man, okay, led by the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit gives man the utterance and words as he writes them on paper, and there's the Word of God. Inspired is divine inspiration. So the definition for inspired, ladies, is divine inspiration. And then we have one more question. Then we're going to get into the meat today. What original languages was the Bible written in? What original languages was the Bible written in? And if you were uh, following on the first chapter, 
the doctrine of the Godhead, we talked a lot about that, and the answer is Greek, Hebrew, and Arabic. Greek, Hebrew, and Arabic, okay? Now, we're going to get into, there's lots of them, ladies, but we picked a number, and we just kind of went with it. And we're going to talk about 20 characteristics and scripture references to the Godhead. And the Godhead is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We all know that, okay? So these are names that God is. God is awesome. God is. He's holy. He's eternal. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He's everywhere present. He's where everywhere. You can't get away from God. He's everywhere. He knows every thought, every move, every action, everything that we do. That's kind of scary, but you know what? We need to think like that because it makes a difference in how we respond. God help us, okay? He's the creator. He's the life giver and the miracle maker. He's the teacher. He teaches us and we get to teach you. He sows seeds in us and I get to sow seeds in you today. What a blessing. What a blessing. Um, he grieves over our sin. That's not a blessing. When we do wrong, it grieves Him. And we want to learn how to walk in His ways victoriously and not grieve the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost that did so much for us. Um, he's reliable. He's true. He's flawless. Absolutely flawless. He's active and alive. Hebrews 4.12. That's the foundation verse for WOW! Women of Word Ministry. He's the lamp. He's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. That's one of our scriptures. He's a sword, and you take that S off sword, and it's the word, because a sword is the word. This, ladies, is your sword. This is your sword for battle. So you need to know what this says, the sword, so you can fight against the battles out there and whip the devils behind, okay? And he is seed, and he's consuming fire, consuming fire, okay? So now we're going to see... Later, not this, but there's also these same attributes that I'm reading right now. You're going to hear these when we talk about uh, the characteristics of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Right now, we're talking about all these names are God. And then there are also going to be the same names when we get into the other three chapters, okay? These are the characteristics. Again, we have several scriptures. And you know what? I'm not going to read everything I'm showing, sharing with you today is on the website. And there's so much in this chapter that I can't read it all. You won't be able to stay with me, and I, I would get, it would be too many videos to get out there. So the characteristics are holiness, eternity, all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere present. We covered those. And if you go to the website, we have the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You can't see this, but I'm going to turn it around. We have this. So if you go to the website, you're going to see each one of these characteristics, okay? And then you're going to see all the different verses where you can go find them, okay? Let me flip this over. And then we have the same thing here, Creator, all the way down to experience. Here is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's the Scripture. So if you're really wanting to get in deep in this and study this, it's on the website at www.wow-womenofword.com. Okay? And here's some more. These are the names we just covered. All right? And then here's some more. Now we're going to get in to the meat. This is the good stuff. Okay? This is some more good stuff. So these are the ones that I that stood out to me. So when I was reading this, I couldn't even tell you where it all exactly started because God just starts me somewhere and I just kind of go. And when I look at all this, I think, I don't know where this came from and how it started. Well, guess what? God gave it to me and that way I get to give Him all the glory and I can't take any of it, which is thank you, Jesus. I don't want to. I want to be able to do this, to be a blessing to you and that you receive. And I think I'm going to have to probably get... Um, I've got a few things more I can go before this video goes off. But we're going to talk about the characteristics studied out for this lesson are as follows, okay? One is holiness. You might want to write this down. Holiness is John 17, 11. John 17, 11, that's holiness. Number two is eternity. 1 Timothy 1:17. 1 Timothy 1:17. And then we have all-knowing. All-knowing, Matthew 6, 8, and 32. Then we have all-powerful. Psalms 135, 5 through 7. And then number 5 is everywhere, everywhere present. Jeremiah 23, 24. Okay? So number 1, holiness. Number 1, holiness, John 17, 11. If you're there, okay? And I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll write down the version. I'll write these and sometimes I don't. This is probably the NIV. But this is the very first verse, and I sat down, and sometimes when you sit down to study, it just flows, and sometimes you have to just be faithful and just stay with it, and then you start understanding. Every session you have to 